ine ndirali kukala nyumba ndipo ndiri kukala nyumba mbonje nyumba ya mauthu at first i was living in a grass house ndiye ndina ndina ika mabasti then we roofed with the plastic papers ndiye mvula ika kwa usiku i was in a great trouble especially when it rain falls so i know mama wa kudimbu now early in the morning mumba anthu akubwera then people came at my home sikomo sikomo say hello 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 then the guy the say oh welcome kaya usiku magona banji kaya then the trying to ask me now according to this heavy rain how have you slept last night because your house is linking then this has been happening oftenly but god used a student to bring a great provision to my house that i'm staying today mbali modi ye mwanjo madai ku amaraja kwatatu kwatatu six before that god also used somebody to buy uh, six iron sheets for me ndibo ndilaka uza munthu wina kuti ndikhomele ndi adati kukhoma cha bisini ngati then i was looking for somebody who can help me to fix you know to put on my roof but said we cannot do it without money ndiye wina wache mulungu adamlangu then as i was struggling god spoke with somebody upite kwalindo kwa nkhomele marata cha medalipo I spoke to a student saying that there is my pastor Lino Chibandi he is struggling with loafing no money for loafing he is struggling therefore i'm asking you to help with him with loafing the other brother me so maria je then he bought all the nails hamala the hammer so everything the other come la marada sisi then he, he helped me with that lucy but i did one week in family ku mabela mwana wa ntsikana wa basukulu then he, after some few days i saw also a student coming ada bwera dale mba proposal ache this student wrote her proposal ndi ada wina ndrama zaji then he, the proposal was considered and she won a certain project 90000 90000 malawi kwacha ndia namva mau then this lady he heard a voice ukona uyo lino do you see this man ndikufuna ndira mazako zikwa ukakhomele malawi ukangulile matabwa zina chiri chose funikira ukapange plaster i need you to finish up with the loafing plaster and other things hope that man of god then the now na mayu jawabwe ntsika na wabwera then one day as i was chatting under my tree i was surprised to saw this student lady coming to me yeah that he abuse him and he said are you pastor chibanti then i said yes i'm the one they are going to the nyumba hii kuti dikomere ili mabona dangati then you asked me a question that you have only six iron sheets on top of your house how many iron sheets are you remaining with and how much money do you want me to do to finish this work so when you in the marada sidi kwadziwa now my so for had a problem because i did not know the price of iron sheets ndiboni maganizira kuti akungochesa and when she was talking to me i thought that this young lady she was just joking ndiye atapita now when she went back home ndina una misiri abwera then i was surprised to see the carpenters coming at home ma 2 o'clock then around 2 o'clock pm na una madomba cement then i saw bags of cement are coming in malata abwera iron sheets are coming in ma ma bagrabs bala all those bagrabs bars chicken wire meros chicken wires 
Why all my sofa? Those wires. Nango paint. The paint. Nango na zafika ba yuko. They're coming at home. The man was shocked. He said, "What is going on? What is going on?" Myself, all my children has died. Didn't take I am alone. Oh, God. I was shocked indeed. Then you know that we see that where am Then early in the morning, I saw a carpenter coming at my home. Then he he does it, finishing with the roof. Then he started plastering my house with the cement. After they finish it, then they said that we are remaining to do or to help you with the fence. But from there up to here, even the way how God is bringing in a provision to me. Sometimes if I've got a needy, I just saw somebody coming with a bread, together with the milk, sugar, coming and blessing me at all. That's the way how God is providing my life. With me, I don't understand this God. And what I understand is, calling is precious before God. And when God has called somebody, He brings a provision to that calling. This is the way how I'm living, Pastor Gary. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.